Uh, what was that? Um, armor? Uh, hey. Artificial intelligence programmed from Tony Stark's personality that helps me run my armor. Where are you? Ah, uh, I think I'm in trouble. So, what's the deal with Ironheart's armor and Tony Stark AI? Is she in the present, past, or future? Welcome back to Comic Panel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, smash that like button, and enjoy! Ironheart finds herself plummeting in the air with her armor systems and her Tony Stark AI shut down. Taking manual control of the suit's function, she manages to crash land in a rooftop. Riri takes off her helmet to figure out what's going on with her suit, but soon notices she's in a technologically advanced version of Chicago. She begins to talk to her armor, in hopes its servers are still somehow active and recording her log, and assess the situation, eventually deducing she must have experienced some kind of dimensional shift. From behind her, the next Avengers catch her attention and offer their help. Surprised by the young heroes knowing her name, Riri begins to suffer some kind of stress attack, begins to babble and blacks out. The Avengers observe her, and James Rogers remarks only one person can help them. When Riri wakes up, she finds herself in the Sanctum Sanctorum, with a caped old man surrounded by tiny, cutesy Iron Man-looking drones inspecting her armor's helmet. The man turns to her and greets her. Riri stares silently at him before realizing it's Tony Stark. He reveals he's 126 years old following Riri's exclamation that he looks terrible, which prompts her to ask how did she get there. Once Riri processes her situation, she and Tony hug at her request. While assessing what happened to Riri, and they realize none of them know how did she get to the future, Tony suggests whatever brought Riri to this far-flung future also made it so Riri could appreciate the situation, and contemplate journey over destination, comparing it to his journey with Doctor Doom to Camelot. After briefly touching on the young Avengers, Tony and Riri take a look at her armor. Breaking the armor apart with magic, Tony comes to the conclusion the suit itself isn't dead, but that his world energy shield, one of the main elements behind energy-regulated world peace, is most likely blocking the suit's energy sources from working properly. Other problems plaguing the suit come from the internet having been superseded by something superior years ago. Riri asks Tony what is he supposed to be now, and he reveals he's the Sorcerer Supreme. Tony then uses magic to suit Riri up and enable her armor, and both fly away. As they fly through the city, Tony answers Riri's question as to why did he stop pursuing technology in favor of mysticism, revealing they are essentially the same thing. Riri's attention is captivated by a series of giant alien-looking plots. Tony explains that years ago, the Avengers expanded across the galaxy and defeated Thanos once for all. One of the alien species they saved presented them in return some of their horticulture, namely a type of plant life which completely ate pollution and eventually helped skyrocket the quality of life in the planet. Tony also explains that he and a few of the world's biggest brains convinced the governments to redistribute monetary funds to people with projects that had futuristic possibilities. Nowadays, there is no paper money, courts like they used to be, or street violence. Tony and Riri's chat is interrupted by the arrival of Morgan Le Fay through a portal with an army of fiends behind her. She immediately retreats when Tony shows in his possession some kind of mystical stone. Riri is surprised by Tony's handling of the situation, and he explains his objective for the last 10 years was to never have to lift a finger in battle. The Avengers arrive, lamenting they missed Le Fay's incursion. Tony gives the young hero some credit, remarking it was Torin who had quested to get the shard of the Odin's daughter, the stone used to intimidate Le Fay, last year. While Azari flirts with Ironheart, Pym asks Tony if Riri knows what she did, he answers she doesn't. Stark asks Riri to bid the Avengers farewell and follow him. They reach the Baxter building, where they meet up with Franklin Richards. Tony asks him if he has his dad's old time machine lying around, but Franklin reminds him that time travel has been outlawed for some time. Franklin is surprised by Riri's presence, slipping up and calling her Dr. Riri Williams. When Franklin questions what is the purpose of Riri's visit, Tony reveals he knows exactly why. 
Tony explains he believes that when a person finds themselves in a place they shouldn't be, it has to be for a reason. Going back to his experience in Camelot, Tony recalls at that time he was in a crisis of conscience, having trouble with recovery and work. Stranded in the past, he gained a perspective of how far humanity had come and came to the realization he needed to go there to experience that firsthand and focus on where humanity needed to go. Tony tells Riri that she's essentially visiting his time to find inspiration and comments that if it doesn't, then she isn't the futurist everyone in the galaxy thinks she is. This last remark intrigues Riri, with Tony's reaction indicating it might not have been a slip-up. When she brings up the dangers of knowing too much about the future, Tony and Franklin note she doesn't know all that much, but simply that things get good. Tony assures Riri that is all she needs to know and asks her if she's excited to go home and get to work. As Tony and Franklin talk about how to get the time machine, Riri's vision suddenly gets blurry. When she wakes up, she finds herself back in present-day Chicago. Her armor boots up and the AI Tony wonders where did she go, but she brushes off all of his concerns and flies back home. The next morning, Riri is working on her garage and shows the AI Tony her latest invention, an Iron Man drone, inspired by the ones present in future Tony's Sanctum Sanctorum. How cool is that? All thanks to Riri Williams' far-flung futuristic adventures, she now knows exactly what steps to take to become the best version of herself. However, the situation is different for this warrior woman. She must demonstrate her strength in order to protect what she holds dear. See you all in the next one.